Welcome to Pop Song Tech. I'm Otis Ranger. Music today is going to feature an interview with Erica Lee out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and her latest single, Without Me. Technology today is going to take a look at the job hunting industry and uh, recruiting processes and how neuroscience is changing the game. We're taking a look at Pi Metrics. Stay tuned for more. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't bring any copies of my resume with me. I actually care so little about this job. I didn't even bother to print something out. Sorry I'm late to traffic. I just don't care about your time. They really didn't know how to take advantage of my skills. I have no skills. My old boss, Tim, do you know him? Oh, I love Tim to death. He didn't really get social media, but gotta love that guy. I'm super passive aggressive, and I'll talk behind your back the first chance I get. Really don't have any flaws. Yeah, I'm gonna be a lot of fun to manage. Where will I be in five years? In your job. (laughs) Just kidding. I'm not kidding. I want to invent the next Uber. I'm gonna use your office to start my own company. Yeah, and then I'm gonna steal all your employees, even Brenda. Hey, what's up? This is Erica Lee, and you are listening to Otis Ranger on Pop Song Tech.
Well, that, my friends, is our featured artist this week on Pop Song Tech. It's Erica Lee, a song of hers from 2014 called Wedding Bells. And we're coming off of uh, Valentine's Day week, a week of love and flowers and candy and uh, Valentine's Day cards. And, you know, the show last week here at Pop Song Tech, somehow I managed to have uh, the love machine himself on. Stephen Michael Thornton, and I forgot to even mention it was Valentine's Day last week. You know, that just goes to prove my point. All you can do as a guy on Valentine's Day is screw up. <laughs> or, or if you're lucky, meet expectations. It's so hard to exceed expectations on Valentine's Day, though. I think I did a pretty good job uh, around uh, here in northern Jersey uh, with my uh, crew. And I uh, hope you guys had a great holiday. And uh, you know what? In honor of President's Day this week, uh, we've got Erica Lee. Okay, that's a non sequitur. But uh, I did go to Philadelphia this weekend. We'll talk about that here in a few minutes. Uh, but first, I want to say, okay, I want you to sing with me. Ready? Happy birthday to us. Happy birthday to us. Happy birthday, dear pop song tech. Happy birthday to us. That's right. February 21st, 2016 uh, was our premiere episode of Pop Song Tech. And I want to sincerely thank you for all your support over the past year as listeners as uh, musicians as technologists we couldn't have done this show without you and we continue to do it with your support with the support of our producer shelby blondell and uh you know i'm having a ton of fun with this i started this podcast as a hobby a little gift to myself for my birthday and here we are 40 shows in and uh, we've got a great one for you today we've got erica lee in studio talking with us about her latest single called without me on the other side of that uh, we're going to have some sounds from the uh, co-founder and ceo of a company called pi metrics uh, frida polly is going to be uh, sharing some insights with us about the hr industry if you've ever hired somebody or if you've ever looked for a job you know the hassle that can be also and we like to feature emerging technologies emerging products new business models here and neuroscience is uh is uh, coming to uh, fruition in the hr space so uh, we're going to be doing a deep dive into this company uh, pi metrics on the other side of our interview with erica on the other side of without me but gosh can you believe it's already been a year they say time goes faster and faster the older you get and I says I say that's because uh, you know everything's relative, and one year when you're ten years old uh, is ten percent of your life, versus one year when you're a hundred years old is only one percent of your life. And so if you take a look at you know theories of relativity, uh, okay, I don't know where I'm going with this thing, but uh, anyway, happy happy anniversary to us. And uh, if you've ever got uh, ideas for shows, uh, bands that you'd like to see featured, uh, technologies that you think would be a good fit for Pop Song Tech, send me an email, popsongtech at gmail.com. I'm your host, Otis Ranger. And, uh, you know, in honor of President's Day, I went out to uh, Philadelphia on uh, Saturday. Uh, you'd think I'd go out to see the Liberty Bell, but no, I went to the uh, Please Touch Museum. That's right. Uh, there is a museum in Philadelphia called the Please Touch Museum. It's a good place for kids. And, uh, you know, they have all sorts of kind of like uh, micro simulated uh, activities that you would do as adults, but kind of miniaturized for kids. So they've got like a shopping center that you can walk through and buy fake fruit and fake uh cereal and they've got uh you know miniaturized cars that kids can get in they've actually got a real car uh that's there that's totally gutted so you can't actually drive it away and they've got the doors kind of like cemented open um for kids to kind of get in uh, check out they've got a simulation of a bus there so things that kids would uh, experience as adults but uh, starting to get their hands on these things um but from a pop culture perspective uh, the reason i was excited to go Mr. Potato Head. That's right. Mr. Potato Head himself was there in person at uh, the Please Touch Museum in uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And uh, I thought uh, in honor of President's Day, who better to spend uh, time with than in uh, the place where the Declaration of Independence was signed uh, and uh, to spend time there with Mr. Potato Head. And so in terms of pocket full of sounds, we made it to the end of that day. Uh, and I've got a little bit of sounds here for you today. In honor of President's Day, uh, we're going to feature uh, the sounds of a bunch of kids. 
doing the locomotion. Now, just imagine Mr. Potato Head leading this uh, line of train, uh, a train full of uh, kids. Do the locomotion. So uh, one year in, and uh, we've got pocket full of sounds here. Mr. Potato Head, uh, we've got, uh, you know, the love machine was on last week in honor of Valentine's Day. This week in honor of President's Day, uh, Mr. Potato Head, and a great artist out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the left side of Pennsylvania, uh, our nation's uh, founding uh, state. Erica Lee is up next. All right, so I am so excited today uh, to welcome Erica Lee to Pop Song Tech. Erica, how the heck are you? I am doing great. How about you? I'm excited to be here. Oh, I'm doing fantastic as well. And uh, and I was just thinking about uh, your your hometown there, of uh, in and in and around uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And I'm I'm thoroughly excited to to welcome you here to the show. Uh, you know, I our, our roots go back uh, together to uh, New York City, though, and uh, to a performance mm-hmm. uh, at Webster Hall, the famous Webster Hall in New York City, where I saw you perform back in December. And I'm so thrilled that you're here uh, to join me today. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. That show was so much fun. It was it was a great opportunity. I got to meet you there. Um, I mean, just being there, just getting to say I got to sing in Manhattan was pretty dang awesome. <laughs> well, I, uh, <laughs> I, I I was really impressed, though, with the whole lineup that uh, Joe Volpus had put together from the AP Music label. And uh, yourself, mm-hmm. uh, I mean, you, you were def- definitely one of the stars that was just shining there, and I was so excited to talk with you after oh, the I show. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, surprised, though, the, to, to hear that a couple people from uh, Pittsburgh uh, were wearing uh, New York sports gear. What was going on with that? With your uh, you, you had your entourage there. <laughs> Yes. Oh, we were just bandwagoning. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> we, I, I don't totally know exactly how it began, but somehow my whole family, we are huge New York fans, New York Rangers, Yankees, and Jets. I don't totally know how it happened, but it's just kind of like an inherited trait now. <laughs> <laughs> so so it's, how do it's, how do people from weird. Pittsburgh because you know Pittsburgh in my opinion is such a strong sports town. Uh I've always found the yeah. Pittsburgh fans to be some of the most uh, uh most passionate fans and good fans out Blood there. Thirsty. The the <laughs> the uh the Pirates uh, they're for baseball, the Steelers for football. It seems like a really kind of um uh almost cultish uh culture in Pittsburgh yeah. uh, and and I don't know <laughs> how you've survived. Great way to put it. I I don't know how you've survived as a I, as a New York fan out there. There there's a lot of trash talking. We'll just say especially <laughs> growing up my brother and I grew up in sports. You know, we grew up nonstop playing hockey and being a Rangers fan in Penguins country is kind of hazardous to your health at times. Yeah, that's like a <laughs> but it's, that's like a mortal sin. Yeah, I know. That's what people always ask us, like, how are you, how did this happen? How are you fans? And we're just like, we just kind of learned it from our dad. He's, he loves the teams and we just grew up loving the teams and just loving watching the games with him. That's fantastic. That's so. just, it's just, yeah, it's just kind of, like I said, it's an inherited trait now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I enjoyed meeting some of your entourage there as well, uh, back in New York City uh, in December. And uh, I got to say, I've been blown away just listening to your uh, your music here, uh, your your prior music. Uh, I'm so excited today to feature uh, your big single, Without Me, and talk about kind of what your plans are yes. for upcoming shows and the work that you're doing with Joe over at uh, AP. Uh, but I'd love to hear about mm-hmm. your background and what got you into music and, uh, you know, playing guitar hear or singing uh, uh what were some of the things that uh inspired you and uh and and brought you to music well kind of kind of the same thing as the inherited trait with the sports teams i grew up my dad was a locally famous drummer here in pittsburgh for his band um called tangent back when before i was born and then when i was really really little so i grew up watching him love music and watching him go to his shows and his band practices. And it just became something that I loved too. Um, then I just kind of wanted to, to get into it a little bit. I used to love jamming out with him. We'd had our own little music room in the house. I got my first guitar when I was 13 years old and that's when that, the love of playing guitar really took off. Um, I just, I don't know. I just kind of love it. I grew up, like I said, watching him love it and 
I just started loving it too. That's fantastic. And uh, there are some uh, some really good radio stations, as I recall, in uh, Pittsburgh. Uh, I, I was always an alternative rock fan. Yeah. 